58 is to present a proclamation recognizing the Fisher Pen Company and celebrating, uh, in celebration of their 50 years of space travel. Commissioner Gibson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Matt Fisher is going to come on down and receive this proclamation. The Fisher Pen Company was founded in 1948 by inventor and pen manufacturer Paul C. Fisher. The famous Fisher Pen, Fisher Space Pen, rose to prominence when Paul Fisher invented a retractable pressurized pen called the anti-gravity AG7 that worked flawlessly in zero gravity. After undergoing 18 months of rigorous testing by NASA, the AG-7 Fisher Space Pen was used on the first manned Apollo mission in 1968 and has continued to be used by NASA astronauts on every manned space mission for the last 50 years. In 1976, Fisher moved their headquarters from Southern California to a 30,000 square foot manufacturing facility in District G, or in Boulder City, District G where it is still family owned and operated today, manufacturing up to 30,000 pens a day and currently employing 65 workers, many of whom have been with the company for over 20 years. These are some fun facts. In 1983, the Fisher Space Pen was used by President Ronald Reagan to sign the proclamation inaugurating the Air and Space Bicentennial Year to celebrate man's first flight in a hot air balloon near Paris, France. In 1985, Fisher Pen Company produced the stowaway Atocha pen line to commemorate the finding of the Atocha by the American treasure hunter Mel Fisher. These pens were filled with genuine gold and silver from treasure actually recovered from the 1622 Spanish galleon Nuestra Señora de Atocha. Also in 1985, former astronaut Senator Jake Garn donated his AG-7 Fisher space pen used during his flight on the STS-51D space shuttle to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. On October 2nd, 1991, the Fisher space pen chrome bullet was showcased in the Seinfeld season three episode titled, The Pen. In 1996, Good Morning America named the Fisher Space Pen as the best stocking stuffer. Also in 1996, Fisher Space Pen Company was licensed to produce the 150th anniversary pens for the Smithsonian. The Fisher Space Pen became the first product sold from space when two Russian astronauts wrote QVC on a pad while appearing live on the QVC shopping network. <laughs> When Jimmy Fallon became the most recent host of The Tonight Show, Carl Reiner presented Jimmy with a chrome Fisher Space Pen bullet, the same pen he gave to Johnny Carson when he hosted the show. In June of this year, they were featured on the Made in America segment of the ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Countless honors and numerous accolades have been presented to the Fisher Pen Company and its founder over the years. And today, it's my privilege to recognize and congratulate the Fisher Pen Company and the Fisher family uh, as they celebrate 50 years in space travel for upholding the tradition of handcrafted, made in America quality. Matt? Thank you very much, Commissioner Gibson. This is uh, truly an honor uh, to accept this on behalf of Fisher Space Pen Company and especially my grandfather. Uh, continuing his legacy is a great honor of mine and he would be extremely proud. Uh, so in addition to uh, our pens being built right here in your backyard, uh, they write upside down, they write underwater, they write extreme temperatures, boiling heat, freezing cold three times longer than the average pen, and uh, that's why they're the choice for the astronauts, the military, law enforcement, anybody who demands uh, functional, reliable pens, they come to us. Um, so it's, it really is an honor. Thank you again, Commissioner Gibson. Thank you at all the commissioners on the board. It's really, really appreciate it. I actually brought each of you a, uh, a personalized original astronaut space pen. So if you're ever climbing Mount Everest, going up in the space, or just uh, taking care of our wonderful city, be sure to take your space pen with you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Matt. Your grandfather would be very proud of you, too. Thank you, Commissioner Gibson. Mr. Fisher, we appreciate you. Thank you.